Dickinson College's Alliance for Aquatic Resource Monitoring, ALARM, engages volunteers to monitor their local waterways. Using water quality data, communities are able to learn more about the health of local streams. In today's video, we will be showing you how to navigate and upload your monitoring data to the Chesapeake Data Explorer. To help integrate and house data from throughout the Bay watershed, the Chesapeake Monitoring Cooperative, with funding from the Chesapeake Bay Program, developed a regional database called the Chesapeake Data Explorer. Each month, when you conduct your stream analysis, you will record the results on a stream team datasheet. Periodically, Alarm will ask for copies of your datasheet for our Federal Quality Assurance Project Plan, which includes holding on to the datasheets for seven years. In addition to recording your data on your datasheet and saving that datasheet, we ask that you please enter your data into the Chesapeake Data Explorer. This video is filmed on a Mac, but the same instructions apply to users of all computers. First, you must register for an account on the Chesapeake Data Explorer. To do this, type in cmc.vims.edu into your internet browser. You should arrive on the home page where you can find the register button in the top right hand corner of the page. Then, Enter in your email, password, and first and last name. It is very important to select your monitoring group because this will let you choose your sites when you enter your data. You can find your group by searching for the name of your stream team slash alarm. For example, Cumberland County Stream Team slash alarm. Click register and then you will receive an email asking you to confirm your email address, which you can do by clicking on the link within the email. If you can't find the confirmation email, be sure to check your spam folder. Your account will then be approved by your CMC service provider, which may take 24 to 48 hours. Once you have been approved, you will receive a confirmation email saying that your account has been activated and you will officially be able to log into and upload your data onto the Chesapeake Data Explorer. Once the account is activated, click on the login button in the top right of the screen. This will take you to the login screen. Here, you will need to enter your username and password that you just created when registering for an account. If you forget your password, there is a button for that and it will walk you through the steps you will need to recover your password. Once you log in, you will be taken to the home page of the Data Explorer and you will be able to see Admin in the top navigation bar. Click on that to go to the Admin area of the Chesapeake Data Explorer, which will allow you to upload data. Click on where it says Data in the top navigation bar and choose Upload Water Quality from the drop-down menu. Gather your datasheet from your most recent sampling event, or multiple datasheets if you haven't uploaded them already, and you are now ready to enter that data. First, enter your sampling event information, which can be found in the front of your datasheet. Make sure to select your sampling station from the drop-down menu. You will only be able to see the sites for your county. Then, add the sample date and time by choosing the year, month, day, and then the hour and the minute. The next section is conditions during sampling. Be sure to choose Alarm so that you will enter data according to the stream team parameters that you were trained by. Use the drop-down menus or type in the conditions you recorded on your datasheet the day that you monitored for that sampling event.
For the calibration section, recall that you calibrate your meters to two different conductivity standards, 84 and 1413 microsiemens per centimeter. Here, type 84.0 into the box. Then, click the blue plus button to add the other range you calibrated for, and enter 1413 into that second box. When entering data for each parameter in the surface sample section, you can enter the first replicate and use the plus button to add additional replicates. Only record the replicates that fall within range. For the depth profile, you should enter in 0.3 meters into the sample depth box. 0.3 meters is the standard default for surface water measurements. If you need to enter a problem code, like if the sample was analyzed after its holding time, Click this button and choose the code from the list. You can also do this when editing your data, which will be reviewed later on. Typically, you will not need to include a qualifier. Then, add your values for water temperature and nitrate nitrogen the same way you added the previous parameters into the surface sample section. The final section is to track volunteer hours. Click the plus sign to add a volunteer and you will be able to select your name or the name of the monitor associated with the collection site you are submitting data for. Then, enter in the number of total volunteer hours into the box. You can select a second volunteer using the plus sign again. Once you have finished entering data, remember to click the Save button. Now, your data will be in queue to be reviewed and published by your CMC service provider. Before your data is published, you are still able to make edits to the data you have uploaded. You can do this by going to the Admin section and choosing Edit and Review Water Quality from the Data drop-down menu. You can select which station you want to edit, and available sampling events will appear in the list below. To edit a sampling event, click the check mark to the left of the sampling event row to select that event. Then, click Edit Selected Event and the data for the selected sampling event will appear on the page below the table. Edit any values you want to update or input any error messages that you may have come across. And then, click the Save button to finish. You can also choose to download any of your datasets by clicking Download Data after you have selected the check mark to the left of the event. Now you can log off and save your data sheets for future reference or until they are collected at a later time by alarm. Once your data is published, it can be found on the interactive map on the home page. Thank you for following along. If you have any problems or further questions, please contact us at alarms at dickinson.edu. Remember, after the data has been published, you will be able to find it on the Chesapeake Data Explorer homepage map or through the query function. Thank you for your participation in water quality data collection and documentation. We will look forward to seeing your data soon.